Hi Hannas, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Lucy, welcome and today we have a quite different episode my invitation for Met Gala got lost in the mail again I need to talk to you Anna so I thought I'm gonna order pizza, do a little mukbang and test matte lipsticks while discussing matte gala look so basically you are getting three videos in price of one that's a bargain and for that I think I deserve that click on subscribe button and thumbs up The theme for this year Met Gala was cab. It gives you so much space to spread your wings and show your creative spirit. We will see who nailed it and who not. And before we're gonna go to the first look, I'm gonna test Lime Crime Plushy in shade Kate By and we will see if it will survive pizza test. Mm. Oh my god, don't you just love Domino's? It's like a best thing ever. So let's start with the biggest gag of the gala, Lady Gaga. I'm so happy we got the old Gaga back where her every appearance was performance. She arrived in this huge pink gown designed by Brandon Maxwell. It looked stunning. She had six guys helping her with a big trend. And when I saw the makeup, I was like, that's super cool. But I don't know if it's matching the outfit, but then gag of the season like boom reveal black gown boom reveal pink gown boom another reveal black outfit my inner drag queen was gagging it took gaga over 20 minutes to go through the stairs but it was worth it she even showed a little bit of her merch but as much as i love reveals i think the first gown was the best one sorry gaga Okay, who's next? Oh, James Charles. Like, when I saw him on the red carpet, I was like, what? Did you get lost? What are you doing there? But then I realized he came to get his award, the award for the most boring makeup of the evening. Like, seriously, James, here's your reward. Take it. Just take it. You are a makeup guru. You release this colorful, unleash your inner artist palette. And you are arriving in this most boring, simple makeup. Like, come on, what's the deal with this? Like, seriously, put some freaking bold makeup on and represent beauty community. The first slice of the pizza disappeared. Let's have a look at the lipstick. Well, it's still there. It disappeared a little bit here, but overall, it's still there. Approved. Now I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna apply Jeffree Star Country Light. Okay, the lipstick is on, so let's go to the next look. It's Serena Williams. Uh, well, girl, you got me confused. I love the volume, I love the brightness, but what the freaking hell is the embroidery? Is it butterflies? Is it feather? Is it bacon? I don't know. When I saw the close-up, it turns out it's leaves. But girl, if from a little distance you look like omelette du fromage, just don't wear it. Just, just don't. Oh my god, nothing makes me more happy than pizza and talking trash about celebrities. I'm in my happy place right now. Okay, next look. Kim Kardashian West. Kim, Kim, Kim. You might love her or you might hate her, but you cannot deny it was one of her best looks and one of the most memorable looks of this gala. Mr. Mugler was inspired by the look of wet shirt when you step out of the ocean and I love it. And she put some seriously tight corset that might broke some ribs and you may or may not be able to breathe but it doesn't matter because your waist looks snatched and those perky boobies they look like they want to jump off and walk the red carpet on their own but i love this whole look this super dewy metallic makeup and this wet like her like honestly kim 
one of my favorite looks from this gala. Okay, who's next? Mmm, Harry Styles, like, seriously, Janay Monet called and she wants her outfit back. Okay, another slice of the pizza gone, let's have a look at the lipstick. Ooh, it looks exactly the same when I put this, so it's definitely food proof. So if you are going on a dinner date, you can definitely grab one of the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. Let me take this off now and we gonna go to the next lipstick. And it's gonna be Fenty Stana Lip in shade Unlocked. I love how easy it is to apply. It really goes on the lips so smoothly, but we'll see if it will survive pizza. Okay, roll the next look. Katy Perry as a chandelier. Please, can someone turn the lights off? Mm, Violet Chachki in the glove gown. Like, honestly, this dress fits her like a glove. I love it. Who's next? Ezra Miller. Another gag of the gala. I don't even remember the outfit, but the makeup... Pff, it literally blew my mind. When I googled the close-ups, oh my god, it's outstanding, it's disturbing. And when I look at it, I'm getting dizzy and I want to vomit. But I love it. I honestly love it. Mimi did a, such a great job on this one. And that was another piece of pizza. And the lipstick is still on. Like, I'm surprised for that intense shade. It still looks good. So Fenty? I wasn't expecting this. I'm surprised. Great job. Let's go for another lipstick. It's NYX Liquid Suede in shade Kitten Heels. And this is the mini from my big vault set. Actually, this is the only red that I like on myself. Oh, we have Emily Ratajkowski in this Egyptian goddess inspired look. Well, honestly, I don't know what to tell you about this gown. Like, Emily, you have such a perfect body. I hate you. Next. The Jenner sisters. I love those look. I love how they look separately and how they look together. I think this week on Kylie looks stunning and they have this like purpley lavender look against this orange and makeup on candle is perfection i want to look like candle when i grow up oh gg well i'm not a fan of the outfit it doesn't do much for me but the makeup i'm blown away i'm gagging i love it and i want to wear it to work every day I see some red lipstick on my cheese. Mm -hmm. mm, Billy Porter, like, calm the house down. I love it. The makeup, the entrance, the outfit, the posing. Like, I live for this whole gold extravaganza. And the makeup was done by Pat McGrath team. And, you know... When you want to have something gold, you have to go to the queen of gold. I think the pot made amazing job with the makeup. For me, this is a quintessential camp and I live for it. Okay, let's have a look at the next lipstick. Well, it transferred a little bit on my chin and it transferred a lot on my pizza. Well, it's still there, but it's not as long-lasting as other lipstick, but it's still there. It looks good. And with a little touch-up, you can continue with your date. Oh, I've run out of the pizza, and I think I'm done with the looks. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please click the subscribe button, give me thumbs up, and share your opinion in the comments down below. And see you on the next one. Bye!